happy Valentine's Day! Okay, it doesn't mean anything for me and I think it's just a commercial kind of festivity but doesn't matter. Today I'm gonna show you how to reproduce this makeup look because a lot of people ask me to do a makeup tutorial and because I don't have one on my channel for now I thought why not doing a Valentine's Day makeup so yeah I hope you enjoy and hope you like it first thing tied my hair so I look really crazy right now I'm sorry so I'm gonna take my hourglass primer and I think this is the best primer that I've ever tried. It makes your skin so soft and like as you can see I have redness, I have breakouts, I have scars, I have everything on my face. And this primer, like, it's magic. <laughs> I cannot feel anything right now. This is crazy. Okay. So for the foundation, um, I'm using the Becca Skin Love Weightless Blur Foundation. I'm in the shade Bamboo. Um, I actually bought it last week I think and I'm in love what I'm gonna use is my beauty blender so yeah I'm gonna just apply my foundation on my forehead I'm just looking right there because I have the mirror next to you for the eyebrows, I'm going to use my Pricesly My Brow Pencil from Benefit. So I really like it because on one side you have the pencil and on the other side you have this brush. I'm just following what I already have. So I'm going really light-handed with this part of my eyebrow because we want something natural. I'm gonna do the other eyebrow off camera and I'll be back. Uh, I'm gonna brush it with the gel. This is the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. Because we'll have a pink red eye, I'm gonna use my lightest uh, concealer. This is the NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer. I love the shape of it. So I'm just gonna go under my brow and as you can see I just draw a line like that. And now you kind of blend it. So when you have that, it looks awful, I'm sorry. I'm going to take um, my beauty blender. I'm 
going to use my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Edition palette for the base. Um, I'm gonna take Morphe E27. I love it. I'm gonna dip into Shy. And I apply it all over my lid, almost until my eyebrow actually. So when I'm done with my base, I'm gonna take another brush this is the morphe e22 i'm going to dip into this pretty pink the name is flamingo i'm gonna take it in my crease Okay, now that is bland, the brush I'm going to use is from Zoeva and this is the 231. I'm going to dip the brush into this gorgeous red. So when I'm done with red line, going back to the second brush and blend it. I want to keep it more as a drama look and I'm gonna dip into the black truffle so as the name says it's the black color <laughs> and i'm just coming into the outer corner and the inner corner and don't worry if you do just a little bit of mess around we are going to clean it up So as you can probably see, it has a lot of mess here and I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush to blend it. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. When you are done blending, we're going to use Fling and it is this red glitter eyeshadow and for that I'm going to use my all nighter makeup setting spray from Urban Decay and I'm going to use it on the Morphe G20 brush I'm going to spray it
that's around the next corner. So. I'm just gonna take again my brush with the black eyeshadow on and work on the corners sticking what is still on the brush now that i have completed my eyeshadow look i'm going to clean it to clean my under eye and to make it look good um, I'm gonna take a cotton pad and my micellar cleansing water. So this is my makeup remover. I'm just gonna follow my eye. Tick. It's magic. gonna do an eyeliner wing and for that I use the Kat Von D eyeliner the name is Trooper I think I love it because it's more like a pencil but you can still be really precise with it When I'm done with the eyes, I can move on and finally do my face. So actually, I think the eyes were the longest part of my makeup. <laughs> As I did for my forehead, uh, I'm going to use my foundation first. And just put it all over my face you know what i love this foundation it smells like you are eating a cocoa it smells so good i look like i have a fake tan right now but I promised you, in my mirror and in the sun, I don't look like a pumpkin. Second step of the face is the concealer. I'm going with the Cover FX um, Power Play Concealer. crazy I'm going to use a uh, the Kate Von D shade and light contour palette I'm going to use those two together i'm going to use this side of um, a double side brush it's from urban decay but nothing is written on it still with my contour palette and the same brush just the other side because it's the chick side I'm gonna contour, I'm gonna take the middle shade So we are almost done What I'm gonna do right now is to just put eyeshadow under my eyes I am using the Morphe E43 It's flat, really small and it's perfect to apply under into Flamingo To finish it, I'm going to the red 
I'm using it only on the outer corner. <laughs> We are almost done, um, now what I'm gonna do is set my face with my setting spray. Because I have a pink red glam, I'm going to use Becca highlighter in the shade Opal. This is the pink one. <laughs> Just gonna curl. So my all-time favorite mascara is the Better Than Sex from Too Faced. But it has been more than a month that I tried the Bad Girl Bang from Benefit. It's totally different, but I really, really like it too. And it looks like that. Because I want to be a little bit extra, I'm going to use false lashes. Those ones are from Tarte. They are goddess. They look like this. I'm going to apply them with my tweezer. While they dry, I'm gonna do my lips. I'm going to take the Kylie Lip Liner in Coco K. I'm gonna apply the Uda Beauty Lip Strobe. Um, so this is a gloss and the name is Snowby. It's a pink one. This is the final look. I really like it. It's really glam. I do like it. enjoyed this so don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon